So now that we have these pike fully boneless by my brother, we are going to beer batter them and fry them in oil. Um, this is how I do it. Um, this is a straightforward beer batter recipe using shore lunch and a hatchet. Um, so what I do first is I have a nail here, just a small nail. I'm going to put it right on the tab of this beer can. There's a little round dot there. And what you want to do is take a hammer and just pound that through, take it out. So you have a tiny hole in that beer can now. Now I have shore lunch. This is regular shore lunch batter. I'm going to put it into the bag. We'll use about probably a quarter cup, third cup for this. We have a small batch of fish we're doing this way. It's the pike you see here. Um, so this hole in the can, what you want to do is put your finger over that hole, shake it up. Now the carbonation and the foam is going to make this an airy batter, kind of like a tempura type of thing. So we're just adding this foaming, spraying out the foam into the bag. It's probably wet enough for now, so I'm going to stop it a little bit. And mix it up. Now I spilled a little beer here. It's fine. I'll just kind of wipe that out. Um, seal the bag and just kind of knead it. Knead this batter. It takes some time for this to actually kind of get to the right consistency. And you need to play around. Maybe you need to add a little more batter. Maybe you need to add a little more beer. But you'll eventually land at the right consistency and I'll show that to you. It's going to be a little thin. I'm going to add a little, need to add a little more batter. I can already tell. But we're getting there. So I'm going to shoot a little more batter into here. And this is the quick and dirty fish camp. Let's, let's fry a bunch of fish type of recipe. You know, it works for any type of fish anywhere you're at, as long as you have boneless fillets. So added more batter, kind of squish it and squeeze it. Getting close to the right consistency, I think we still may be a little bit too much watery. So I'll add a little bit more. Oh yeah, now we're talking. You want it to thicken up just a little bit so it'll cling to those fillets and fully coat them so you get that kind of pub fried type of thing. It's getting good now. But what you want to do is get this kneaded out and so there's no clumps or no no balls, no no grains in there. It's 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 a liquid mixture with that foamy beer. And after this you need to let it sit for approximately 10 minutes just to kind of get to room temperature to get to the right consistency it kind of absorbs it I think that's about the right amount of batter if you look at that it's not much it'll fill the corner of that bag but that's about as much as we need for this little small batch of fish so we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes we'll add the fish to it and then we will uh, we'll, we'll fry them up All right, we've let the uh, the batter sit for about 10 minutes. It's gotten to a nice consistency and comes room temperature. We have dry fillets here from the pike. And we're just gonna take them and go right into the bag. This is a nice way to keep things clean. There's no mess, there's no clean up really. You know, paper towels and Ziploc bags. So this all goes into the bag. Throw this towel. Was the Ziploc. Now we just mix this all up and the batter will coat the fish completely. And like I said, there's no mess. So this is all sitting in the bag like this. And we'll, we'll let this sit again for another five minutes before we put it in the oil. We're heating up the oil right now. Um, so there you go. So uh, one thing that my dad taught me um, and, and his brothers is that if you put a wooden match into the oil while it's heating up, once the, if the match engulfs in, in, in flame, then 
it's uh, the oil's ready to go to put the fish in. So we're going to do that right now. Um, it's not fail safe, but it's been a pretty good method for me. Hey! So the uh, oil is ready. Our match lit up. It means it's hot enough to fry fish. So I'll take it out with the tongs. And we are going to go right into the oil with our fish. This is coming straight out of the bag. Um, I like to have usually a, a bowl of water to keep my hands clean. You can use a fork for this, but I'm just going to put it right in. The hotter the oil, the better, honestly, when you're doing it on a stove top. Um, this, this recipe works better over a campfire for cast iron. Uh, it, it, it's great to cook them outside, but it's winter, so we don't have a fire going, and we're doing it inside today. Again, these are pipes that uh, we caught just a couple hours ago, and my brother Corey filleted boneless using his Y-bone removal method. So when you put the, all the fish in here, it's going to cool the oil down, and it'll take a minute to catch back up, but I'll let it cook for a while. So fish is done. We have gotten it to be golden brown here, deep fried. We're going to put it on some paper plates with paper towel. Ideally, these fish, you know, these fish chunks should, should stay together and, 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 and keep their shape, which most of them are doing for us here. It should be crispy and fried to a nice dark golden brown. It's almost like tempura, like I said earlier. It's almost like deep frying. But they're sizzling, these are hot. It's beer batter pike fresh from the lake. Boneless and delicious. Now, you dip these in honey and you'll uh, make the whole family happy. Alright, 